Good evening. A community pays their last respects tonight. The public and law enforcement community coming together to remember fallen police officer Tony Mazurkowitz, who was killed in the line of duty 10 nights ago. After calling hours were held in Parenton at Keenan Funeral Home this afternoon into the night, a lengthy procession brought the 29-year Rochester Police Department veteran to the public safety building. His last call acknowledged on dispatch. E40, Officer Tony Mazurkowitz. Tactical unit. AD 40, Officer Anthony Patrick Mazurkowitz, badge 557. Rochester Police Officer Tony Mazurkowitz, badge, badge 557. End of watch, July 21st, 2022. Now, our Alex Love has been following this all day long from calling hours to the procession this evening. He joins us live from the Public Safety Building with the very latest. Alex? Absolutely, John. Up and down the streets of Parenton, hundreds of police units from many agencies lit up the neighborhoods, escorting the casket of Officer Anthony Mazurkowicz from the funeral home out there here to the public safety building. But along the route, community members were on every street corner, waving flags, flashing blue lights, and holding up signs showing they too are rallying in support of the RPD family. Homes along Mason Road were among the first to see Officer Anthony Mazurkowicz's casket be transported by. Those like Michael Tetlow didn't know him, but made sure to have blue ribbons and lights decorating his front yard in sympathy to the department and relatives. But just to make them know that we're, it really matters enough to go back and take down some lights off our gazebo and put them up front where everybody can see them and not just um, not just tie a ribbon. You know, it's a couple hours work, I think, means a lot to the people that that um, have to go through this. Up the road, the Ryan family drew a thin blue line flag in their driveway, while the kids waved American flags to show the community is unified with Officer Mazurkowicz's family during their loss. They'll just be made well aware of, you know, how, how important it is to, to come behind people in the community and to support them, um, and just how important it is to embrace safety everywhere. I mean, to be a police officer these days is, um, it's a true act of bravery. Erica's daughter Paisley showed us how they got creative by putting blue tape over a yard light to make the house blue as the procession drove by. We're just going to be like holding up flags to show how much we care about him and how much we're going to support him. They work really hard to keep like everybody safe. Rochester Public Information Officer Greg Bello expressed enormous gratitude for all the community support, adding other departments have stepped in to assist RPD patrolling the streets as they visit Officer Mazurkowicz's casket and mourn. The, the state police, the sheriff's department, the town police, they've all been helping us and helping with arrangements to, to help us mourn our friend and our fallen officer uh, working in partnership. Uh, so tomorrow during the services, you know, again, the Sheriff's Department, State Police, and our partners will be assisting with calls for service. So that The funeral services for Officer Anthony Mazurkowicz will officially begin at 12 noon. You can watch the entire service aired live right here on News 8. Only invited guests are allowed to attend the services, which will be held at the Blue Cross Arena. Live outside the Public Safety Building in Rochester, Alex Love, News 8. All right, Alex, thank you very much. And again, those funeral services for Officer Mazurka, which will take place tomorrow at noon at the Blue Cross Arena. Governor Hochul will also be attending the funeral. Again, not open to the public, but we will be providing live special coverage on Channel 8 beginning at 11 a.m. You can watch right here or on our website at rochesterfirst.com.